So like, I really like Blowdesk because it really gives you options of what you can put. Hello everyone, I am Tanya Martinez and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to automate your emails using Flowdesk. But first, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope y'all are having a good day, so let's get started. So we're going to get started. We're going to go to workflows right here. As you guys can see, it's right here next to forms. So let's go ahead and click this lead magnet I have been working on. You guys can choose to create a new one, but I'm going to go ahead and walk you through one that I have created. So let's go ahead and edit it. So when you first get onto this workflow, it's going to ask you which subscriber segment you are going to want to send it to. So when you click on it, you guys can choose which subscriber segment. So right now I have it on test two. So when you're first getting on this, it's obviously not going to have an email. So what you're going to do is you guys are going to click this little plus button. And here is the option to add an email, a time delay, condition, or an action. So I'll walk through those in a minute, but first we are going to add an email. So as you guys can see, here is my email template. I like to start off with a freebie. And this, so this is what is going to be sent out next week. If you're watching this at a later date, obviously it's already been sent out. So I kind of like to make this in my own words. So make sure when you guys put something personalized and put something that, you know, meshes well with your audience. So let's okay so right here i put a freebie either attached or you have shared a link through your google drive and then that's pretty much it for this email and then i have attached my social handle way people can follow me on instagram or youtube to see what's going on and for any tips so then i put enjoy lady like i've said in the past i really like this feature that uh, Flowdesk does and it puts in the last few uh, posts that I have done on Instagram. So that's super nice. So let's go ahead and finish. So then it's gonna take you back to this page. Make sure that you are adjusting the sender. You wanna make sure that's coming from your personal email. Then the subject line has to be something catchy. I mean, you want people uh, to open this and when people are getting hundreds of emails each day you want this to be catchy so I'm gonna put hey girl here's your guide to five easy ways to start your morning off right and then as you guys can see I've added emojis I really love emojis so as you can see in this preview text I have put hi here is your guide so that you can have a productive day dash t basically this just has to kind of tell your audience what's in what's in the email and this isn't super important. And I would say the subject line is the thing that you should spend most of your energy on. Okay, so next, like I said, guys, make sure you press the little plus, the little plus sign. And you guys can um, put this time delay so that way emails are sent out on a certain day. So I put Monday. And then on the second email, I haven't started this yet, but on the second email, you can share news of what you're doing or any specials that you may have so like i really like Flowdesk because it really gives you options of what you can put so like in this one it says personal life lifestyle a big deal on the podcast so basically your people can see what you're doing and what's going on so for me i'm going to be adding hey see what i'm talking about on my youtube channel See what's going on on my website have you heard about my coaching and if you guys haven't hopefully my website will be up by the time this video airs and i'll be able to post a link in um and i'll be able to post a link in the description below so like i said you guys need to make this personable but if you feel like you're not good with words flowdesk really helps you out and it gives you a script that you guys can use and change up to fit your personality so let's go ahead and finish this. So like I said, guys, I put this time delay and I and I want to wait until it's Monday because I want people to wake up every Monday morning and get an email from me. So I already put this action, this time delay. So next we're going to move on and I've added a condition here. 
And typically, I wouldn't recommend you guys adding this condition until you're about four, maybe five emails in. And it's basically a subscriber has to open this last email to, to be able to get this email or this other email. So if they have opened it, they would get um, my gratitude runs deep email. If they haven't opened it, then they might get a different one. So as you can see, I'm going to add a email. And from here, you can add an existing email or you can create a new one. So let me go back through this. I did show this in the last one, but I'm going to go ahead and show it here for, for in case you didn't watch that email. But I would really recommend you go back and watch that email. So you guys can do something like this. So then you have the option to customize it. You can add in your, you can add in your picture and uh, you know, edit the text. Like I said, if you guys have the first name on your email list, then it'll say, hey, Crystal, hey, Tanya. And that'll be, that'll be it. And once again, your social media is going to be right here, but you can edit this email to go however you want. So let's finish that. And as you can see this condition, so let's go ahead and so for the people that are going to be opening my emails, they're going to receive another freebie. So from here, they're going to get another email with a freebie because they're opening my emails and they're doing, they're doing the work basically. Here I chose this email and as you guys can see, once again, I put in the subject line and another free guide for you, just for you. So you guys can basically keep adding emails and adding emails and oh, let me actually let me add in a condition so that way, not a condition, a time delay so that way you guys can see how to edit that. So. So I always choose a certain day of the week and like I said, my day is Monday. And then, but if you guys want to add any other things, you guys can add more conditions. So if all these conditions are met, it'll be yes to a certain email or no to another email. So you guys can do, if, it's, if they are in a certain segment, then they'll get this. If they are, if they have opened the last workflow email, if they have clicked a link, then they can get this. And if a field matches, then you would select those. So let's say they have to click a link. So as soon as those are met, then they get this new email. So as soon as those conditions are met, then they get this email. So that is basically it. Okay guys, so when you are done with this, then what you can do is hit publish and your first email will go out to your subscriber list so basically you guys can choose to edit this but if you guys hit publish and then you choose to edit something you have to make sure that you hit publish at the very end of whatever work you're editing because if not that workflow is not going to be sent out and that would suck for you to do all this work and then it not get sent out so make sure that if your workflow is already published make sure, and do you want to edit, make sure to re-hit that publish or else, like I said, the work isn't going to go out. Okay guys, so that was it. I'm hoping you guys are doing a happy dance like me. And if you guys liked this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get all notifications. I will be doing a mindset video on Tuesdays and a small business tip on Friday. So please make sure to join in. And if you guys want access to my freebie on how to own your why with a few of my money tips, please make sure to click the link in the description below and follow me on all social platforms at Manifest Your Hustle. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!